my name is Dan Schmidt. I do a weekly television show called Team Chicago Challenge. The website, teamchicago.tv. Today we're going to look at the highlights. The Bridgestone Weir and National Endurance out here at Groton Raceway has been shortened down to four hours instead of the six hour schedule. And we'll be looking at some of the sprint races held on Sunday. So it's the Bridgestone Weir National Endurance. It's a Michelin National Challenge Series. Both put on by Weir. Weir website is WERA.com. That's WERA.com. Don't forget the Team Chicago website at TeamChicago.tv. Motorcycle racing, West Michigan. A beautiful weekend up here at Groton. Thanks to the Fossen family, my friends. It's a great racetrack. We'll be coming back later and checking out some of the motocross. So pay attention on YouTube. Remember, go to Motorcycle Racing. Go to Team Chicago, Motorcycle Racing Team Chicago and see all the clips that I put up there about motorcycle racing in the Midwest. Taking a start for the Team Bear, Team Chicago. Kawasaki is Eric Konensberg as they head down the front straightaway. Jumping up front, the battle between Zyvex R1, Zyvex R6. Dane Westby against I believe it is one of the Bostrom brothers on the R1 of Zyvex. It's Eric Konensberg on the Team Bear, Team Chicago. Towards his way, true traffic, running up on here and racing right here. Through turn three. Over the jump, it is Dane Westby. Dane Westby has just cleared the jump both wheels off the ground let's slow this thing down and take a look at it as Dane Westby leads on that R6 Zyvex Graves Motorsport look at this both wheels in the air coming down the front wheel first Whew. what a ride Groton Raceway to Groton Hump or the Groton Jump Dane Westby's got it mastered as he stretches the lead the R6 is leading it looks like Dane Westby's gonna walk away from the R6 one of Zyvex. Zyvex is looking great this year. They have dominated so far. Taking the start in Zyvex number three bike. It could be Christopher Clark or it could be Ben Bostrom. Not quite sure who's on the bike. But Dane Westby showing him the fast way around. Third place is Tim Hunt. Tim Hunt on that Hooters 1000. As the pit starts begin after one hour in the pits now is Apex manufacturing local heroes. Local riders out of Michigan running currently in fourth place. They are sponsored by Apex Manufacturing, Sport Bike, Track Time, GP Tech, and Superbike Specialist. Fast riders from Michigan running a solid fourth place in their R6 Yamaha. They head on out. Dan Schmidt is now on the Team Chicago. Kawasaki, Team Chicago, Kawasaki, Team Bear, four and six prepared, Michelin tires. We head through turn one over to turn two. There was Seeler put down. A lot of bikes like Dan Schmidt are riding nice and easy, taking it easy, running the inside line. There's Seeler on the outside. A few bikes had split out during the day in turn three. Making the pass now. Heading to the Groton Hump, getting by that Bluegrass Motorsports Park SV. Riding the bike right now is Steve Johnson, show, Joe Shuck on that EBC Bridgestone Bluegrass Motorsport Park in Kentucky. Psycho Specialist, Silkeline, Suzuki, four and six prepared on this Kawasaki Michelin Tires Champion Psycho Center in Chicago. Heading out to the back 40. As we see, Jason DeSavo is now on at Team Zyvex R6. Three riders on his Zyvex R6. Jason DeSavo, Clinton Sellers, and Dane Westby. They are smoking the field. Second place, the R1 from Zyvex. The Bostrom boys, along with Mr. Clark. As we see, Tim Hunt on that 1,000 Hooters Suzuki running a solid third place. But as we get to the end, we see Jimmy Vanderhard and at TVR 131 R1. He's chasing Joe Shuck. 
on that Bluegrass SV. That is the bike that's winning the lightweight class. Jimmy Vanahar, Chuck Ivey picking up fifth place on their R1 as we see Apex Manufacturing Local Heroes running a solid fourth place on their Yamaha R6 flying out here at beautiful Groton Raceway, their home track. We see one of the Bostrom boys on the R1, Zyvex R1 running second place, but not enough to catch up with that R6, Dane Westby, Jason DeSavo, and Clinton Sellers picking up the win, checkered flag flies, Phil Young comes by that Team Bear, Team Chicago, Kawasaki, finishing up for Zyvex, it is Dane Westby, great ride, Dane Westby showing everyone the fast way around, Groton Raceway, Dane Westby with the victory, Zyvex is dominating both the heavyweight and the middleweight superbike classes, the Bridgestone, we're a national endurance, beautiful Groton Raceway, northeast of Grand Rapids, Michigan, as Phil Young Finishing eighth place on that Team Bear, Team Chicago. Kawasaki heads back into the pit. On Sunday, 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 the action heated up. Open Super Stock. Great battle up front. Three way battle between Taylor Knapp, Tim Hunt, Tim Bemisdorfer, all the way from Maryland. Tim Hunt's out of the South. Taylor Knapp, local here out of Lee Pier, Michigan. And it raised the Suzuki bad on win. Tim Beamishdorfer is running second right there. Tim Hunt running third. But in the end, it was Taylor Knapp going on to pick up the win. A superstar. Next up, another three-way battle. Six Hunter, two stocks. Yeah, it's beautiful Groton Raceway. The Michelin. We're a national challenge here. We got David Gray and Jeff Wallen battle with Hayden Rhythm and Garrett Gerhoff. But it became a two-man battle as David Gray and Jeff Warbles walked away from the field right here. We see Warbles up front ahead of David Gray. But in the end, they have to check the flag. Down to the wire. It was the winner. Here's the winner. Pulling back in the pitch. David Gray and at Apex hey, Manufacturing. Right. Yamaha R6. Victorious 600 Super Stock. They came back in the 750 Super Stock race. This time, this two-man battle was down to Jeff Wobos. And he's out of Cincinnati. David Gray and it was Jeff Wobos taking up the win. Aiden Griffin was third, fourth went to Emerson Palmer, fifth place went to Robert Hancock, top novice was Oliver Gordon. Formula One, Tim Hunt was not going to be denied on that Hooters 1000. Tim Hunt that does all the work on them Hooters bikes, he was dominating. Out, trying to go fast on the Yamaha, it was Curtis Roberts, that's right, Curtis Roberts trying to chase down Tim Hunt, Brian Gibson showing Roberts the fast way around, ended up third place, Chief Buchan was fourth, and that's all the action. The Bridgestone, we're a National Endurance Series, and the Michelin, we're a National Challenge Series, Rotten Raceway.